dead just days after celebrating her third birthday. A Milwaukee toddler shot and killed Saturday morning with the road rage incident sparking hurt and outrage all across the community. Fox 6's Derricka Williams explains what is next for the suspect and the citywide effort to end tragedies like this. Derricka. Guys, well, right now we are waiting for that gunman to be charged and go through the court process. In the meantime, local leaders say prevention needs to start on the streets and inside of homes. Grief and frustration. This person made a mindless decision. Take over many residents and Milwaukee city leaders. This reminds us of the level and the depth of work that we have to do as a community from a policy perspective. Reggie Moore, the city of Milwaukee's director of violence prevention, says the senseless shooting of three-year-old Brooklyn Harris should shake the core of people across the city. No level of outrage over anything in our community should result in a three-year-old losing their lives. The little girl was gunned down during a fit of road rage. Police say after two vehicles Vehicles almost collided near 42nd and Concordia. A suspect in one of the vehicles opened fire, shooting into the rear of the vehicle with the little girl inside. While the incident is tragic, Moore says it's vital that the community invests in helping reduce the likelihood of something like this happening again. Violence prevention is something that we all have to take ownership for, right? When we look on our block, when we look in our families, when we look at our friends, starting at a young age, that we should be instilling ideas and, um, and values in our children and in our young people so that they grow into adults who are productive, who care about and are compassionate towards each other. In terms of instilling a value of life. Adding to the importance of utilizing resources that aid in recognizing anger and channeling it. We can talk about mental health and all of the factors that contribute to that, but at the end of the day, we have to be in control of ourselves as individuals. And there are several resources available to help, including 414 Life, which is a violence interruption team that goes out into the community, and also at Trauma Response Services, which addresses children's exposure to violence. And of course, we put all of those resources on our website, fox6now.com. Reporting live outside of the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Derricka Williams, Fox 6 News. Such a sad story. Derricka, thank you.